everyone well welcome to another unboxing and this particular vacuum cleaner inside this box has come all the way from Germany so it will have the incorrect plug on but fortunately the German voltage is the same as the UK one so I won't need my special black box that I need with my American imports but I will need an adapter so I can plug in the two pin plug that uh, will be on this machine now it's a vintage-ish Miele and it's one of their stick cleaners. Now I think it is missing though, the main carpet and floor head, but I think I'll be able to source one. If I can get the right type, it might be second hand. Well, I thought that would be the way to open it. Oh, it is, there we are. So yes, I saw this on eBay. I can't remember how much it was. It wasn't, I didn't pay a lot for it. And I can't even remember if it was an auction or a buy it now. Um, hmm. But I know it wasn't a huge amount of money. It, hopefully it will just need a bit of a clean and a polish. Wow, look at that. Now! Oh, it's a shame. That's a shame that that's got paint on because this stuff is exactly the same material as the filter on a Hoover Constellation. Of course, the, the Constellation filter was round, but it's exactly the same stuff, this sort of felt material with bits of sort of threads, threads in and bits of string, like it's a recycled thing. But that is exactly the same. If that hadn't got paint on it, I could have cut a circle of that out and had a spare filter. It's a shame, that. But anyway, that's interesting. So, first out, reasonable condition is now I was going to say it's extension wand but it isn't it's only the handle because unlike the uh, later Miele's the Miele alternative and the quick step this would have acted as an extension wand as well but it's blocked off at that end so it's only the handle part oh yes it's going to need a buff and a polish ah uh, well that one no this paint everywhere Nearly, I could have nearly cut a circle out of that. Oh, never mind. Oh, what's this? Ah, there's the handle. Mm, is it missing the top? I think it's missing the top. Look, I think that would have had a cap on it. Now every single bit's got paint on. That's the other tool. Oh dear, missing the litter pickers. Might be able to pick one of those up in better condition than that. It will clean up okay. That's your sort of upholstery nozzle. That's a nice burgundy colour. Let's pop that down. Let's check. Aha! More. No. <laughs> so near but so far. That's almost clean. It's not clean on either side. Is that it? I'm not sure, I don't think there was any instructions with this. No, and what's this here? More packaging, but useful. Oh, look at that. Ha! These are good big, big bags. <laughs> Anyone interested in tyres here? What is this? Matador. Matador, Matador tyres. <laughs> Obviously, there's a German, German website address there. Well, I'll keep those because it's nice to reuse stuff. I don't think I can do much with that. And there we go, that's everything. So, yeah, so this is how it was pictured anyway. It's got all the bits that I expected. This is a Miele Deluxe S126 Air Clean Stick Vac. And I did have one of this shape uh, a while ago, and it was a UK version, I think. Um, but it was like in a sort of a sandy colour. I quite like this burgundy. I did know it was going to be burgundy, so you can hardly tell the difference, can you? Of course, this has got the old German. I'll have to quickly nip upstairs and see if I can, I've got my German adapter. I do have a few plugs as well that will convert that semi-permanently into a UK plug. It just slots in and uh, it screws closed and then it sort of has, has it on. I mean, it's easy enough just to cut that off and put a UK plug on because it will work on our voltage without any adapter. But 
I'd like to keep things original, so that's why I'm going to keep the German plug on it. So it's just a two pin plug on this one. Yeah, it isn't in bad condition. It's scuffed as one would expect. There's paint marks on, but they're easy enough to get off. And a bit of a buff and polish. Well, I do like that switch. Single speed, rocker switch. Now this here, I can't remember if this is a suction control or it has something to do with a bag check indicator. I think it's a suction control. Oh, I've got to get some bags for this. You can still buy bags. Ah, it does have a, a partly used bag. Now this isn't an original Miele. It's quite dirty. It look, it's quite a simple machine this. I think I, I'll be able to just take this completely apart and clean it properly. These are made by a company called Swirl, so you can get these in the UK. And these are probably better than the original original Miele ones, because the original Miele ones would, would be paper. I've seen the, the original ones and they are still paper, so I probably will use these fabric bags, even though they're not genuine. This is one instance where an aftermarket non-genuine bag could be better than using the genuine bag because these aren't going to take the same bag as Miele's current line of stick vacuums that, which take the KC, K bags, KK bags. But anyway, so I can uh, at least use that for a bit. Now, just working out what this is, I think it could be a suction control, but it'll be easy enough to check. I don't think it's related to the bag check indicator. So there we go, that's obviously there's a piston style bag check indicator there. Not sure if it's going to work. We'll see when I switch it on. That should turn red, that white circular part there. But yes, it's typical uh, typical Miele quality. Ah, uh, well it's missing as well, unfortunately, but it's not too too much of a hardship. It's missing the pre-motor. Can you see? The lighting's not very good today. Um, but I've got plenty of those. They come with Miele bags and you can cut them to fit. So I'll just cut one of those micro filters and put it in there. I don't know if it's got a date wheel on. I think this is possibly from the 80s. There is a date wheel. Whether or not I'm going to be able to see it. Well, it says 42 in the middle. No, this is certainly not from 1942. <laughs> Was it 20? No, well, I don't know. I don't know what that's about then. Anyway, if uh, any Miele fans watching, especially from Germany, can you date this? We might be able to date it from, oh look, it's got a power socket. Be nice to get the a proper power head to fit that. And look, it plugs in at the back there. So it's obviously has um, a power head with a, a bit of a longer lead that plugs into the top. And here's the underside. You could get a hose for this, as you can with a quick step. So you could, because it's got these little three nodules, it would sort of slide along on the carpet if you had the hose and it would be like a compact cylinder. Right, so here's the old rating plate. So Miele made in Germany. And it's uh, NR. 226-16317, type S, 126-220-230 volts, 50 to 60 hertz, so it's 800 watts, double insulated. I uh, can't, don't think we can date it from that. Okay, I've managed to find an adapter. So it's in the on position, or at least I think that's the on position. So I will retreat and switch it on at the wall socket and hopefully this Miele will work. Well, yes, it does work, but I don't know if the camera picked it up, but phew, it blew out an awful lot of dust. But that sounds very nice. It's very quiet. <laughs> Now, I don't think the bag check indicator was working, or was it? I wasn't really looking at that. Uh, 
Well, it was working slightly. It might need a bit of a clean. Um, but yes, now this looks like it is the suction control because I did turn it. It's on five, which is of course the maximum. But as I turned the dial when I had it on briefly, I could hear air rushing into it. So obviously it's just a vent type suction control. It doesn't uh, alter the speed of the motor, of course. So setting one will be the lowest suction. <laughs> So typical of Amila from this era, it does sound very good even now. There's nothing wrong with the sound of that motor to my ears. Um, all I'm going to do basically is take it apart, give all the parts a good clean, get rid of all the paint marks and the scuffing will be um, slightly disguised with a good polish. So you can use it as a handheld, it's quite a large handheld, it's not, not too unmanageable. But you can use it as a handheld of course with this nozzle now it probably would have come as standard with a crevice tool as well and of course the hard floor carpet and hard floor nozzle may not have come with a dusting brush but so you know you can use this on your stairs and upholstery like this let me just turn up the power That's very good. And of course use it as a stick type cleaner. We'd need to attach the handle. So yes, the handle is just the handle and not an extension wand as well, because of course with the later models, you were able to connect. You can't, it doesn't even fit that. But you, you can connect the extension wand to this end of the cleaner. Uh, if you want to clean under low furniture, it gives you the extra reach. But obviously on these versions, you can't. So, which way does the handle go in? Oh, obviously this way. So there's only one way the handle will, will pop in because there's only one opening. And the handle then will fit in. Ah, oh, there's a little cut out there, look. And a little rectangular piece. I don't know if you can you just see there. So that will push into there. Ah, and that's that button. There, look, try and get you to see it there. Look, ooh, there, can you see? There, yeah, pops in and out. So, press the button in. And, right, that's it, that's locked into place, so that's, that stays firmly on until I press the handle. You've also got a hook here, <coughs> cord hook at the top. Now, I'm not sure, without uh, looking, where you'd wrap it. I'll have to see if there's an online instruction book. But that will plug into here. Ah, yeah, it's a nice cleaner. It's a nice cleaner and this sort of machine would have been popular, more popular I think in Europe than the UK because in continental Europe, especially in hotter countries such as Spain, they don't really have upright vacuum cleaners. They're not very popular but they would have cylinder cleaners or this type of cleaner, a stick cleaner because in a hotter country they don't have fitted carpets, they would have you know stone floors, tiled floors and the odd rug. So for that sort of cleaning, this machine would have been ideal, especially with the proper full-sized floor head. But at the moment, I've only got this. I knew this is all it came with, um, so it's, I'm not disappointed. Um, I think this is going to clean up very well. I will source, hopefully, the correct head. I do have one upstairs that I bought for another machine that I think is of the same era, so, but I'm not sure if it is for this machine. It might have been a slightly earlier head. But uh, in the time you see this next, I'll be searching eBay for Mila heads and hopefully I'll get a nice replacement head for this, possibly even a new small nozzle and possibly a crevice nozzle. But I'll look online and see if I can find an online instruction book for this just to see which tools came with it so I can sort of complete the machine. But all in all, I think I'm really, well, I'm pleased with it. But I say it's a bit, uh, a bit useless for carpets with that small nozzle. <laughs> But that motor, that sounds quality.
Fantastic. So there we go, that's my Miele Deluxe S126 Air Clean Stick Vacuum Cleaner. Let's unplug it. I had to use this for the time being. It's a ridiculously large type adapter. I do have some better ones than this, but this is the only one I could lay my hands on in the short time I needed just to show you it going. But uh, yes, so that you can put the cable around the top, but where do you put it around the bottom? That's the thing. I wonder how you're supposed to store it. I guess it just wraps, it might just wrap around the bottom of the cleaner like that. Anyway, you will see this again at some point. It'll have had a nice refurb, be cleaned up, we'll put new filter in, new bags, and hopefully it'll have all the accessories it needs. But that's a nice addition to my Miele collection. A slightly older Miele, possibly from the 80s, I'm guessing. But if you can date this for me, please comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.